Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and before we get into today's video, which is a so the look that's a lot of fun, um, I just wanted to remind you that my Pattern Fitting 101 class is open. The cart is open for Pattern 101, Pattern Fitting 101. Um, so I've got all the information if you're wondering um, what that is and how that looks. I have a link that you can click on and read about everything. You, you're not buying anything. You just, you can read all about it before you make your decision. Um, but the cart's only open through the 16th, so only through Friday. So if you've been thinking about it, now is a fantastic time to go get signed up for the class. Again, you have access to all the pre-recorded stuff, the resource section, all of the workbooks and PDFs and all that stuff for the life of the product for as long as I'm around. <laughs> so um, you've got it, you got access to that for forever. Um, but there is a community aspect that um, is happening uh, during the six weeks where you're getting each module released. Um, and that starts as soon as you sign up for the class and goes all the way through October 11th. And that's where we help each other fit, help each other diagnose. I'm in there helping you um, diagnose fit. I got y'all covered. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's something you're interested in learning more about, click the description box down below. Okay, let's go see the outfit that I made. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I am here with another So The Look. I love doing these. I would love to try and do one once a month. Um, we'll see how that pans out, uh, but did one last month. Um, so excited to be here with another one for this month. But before I get into that, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go do that real quick. I've got so much fun stuff happening um, not only this month, but also into next month. And um, a lot of fun stuff actually happening next month. Um, yeah, we're doing a challenge over on Instagram. So you definitely want to be following along. So make sure you hit that subscribe button um, and sign up for the newsletter too. I have a link in my the description box for the newsletter. And um, it's a lot of fun. You just get a newsletter. It's a once a week thing um, with some fun information. And um, yeah, just it's short. <laughs> I won't clog up your, your inbox. Um, anyway, make sure you sign up for both those things so you don't miss any of the fun sewing um, extravaganza that we have going on here at Tomcat Stitchery. Okay, let's talk about this month's Sew the Look video. So I found a um, look from Mango, I believe, um, when I did my 10 summer ready to wear looks and the patterns and fabric to recreate them, this was one look that, that stuck out to me just because number one, it felt very nostalgic with the bias slip skirt. I was a teenager in the nineties and um, it just felt very nostalgic. And then with the crop top, um, and I just thought the little peasant, bow, pe peasant blouse was so on trend. Like I've been seeing those everywhere. Um, so it was kind of a look that I, and I immediately could think of like two patterns that I would use to recreate this. And then I made the top and I was like, okay, I just need to do this as a sew the look. I did tweak it a little bit because I needed to, number one, I don't want my midriff showing <laughs> because it just doesn't need to be anymore. Um, when I was a teenager in the 90s, it was a different story. Um, but I also wanted a, um, I kind of found the fabric on the original skirt to be a little boring. Um, and it's summer and I wanted something bright. Well, my personality, even if it wasn't summer, if it was winter or fall, I would still want something bright and colorful. So I did choose um, something other than a stripe for uh, the fabric on the bottom. But all in all, I think I've really nailed the silhouette on this. Now, is this a look that I'm going to wear as is? I'm not as crazy about it on my body as I thought I might be. And we'll get into that here in a little bit about why. So, um, and this stuff happens, but I mean, it's fine. Okay. So for the top, I have gone with the, um, cashmere at Briarwood top. This is from their club patterns. Uh, gosh, earlier in the spring, I guess. And it's actually meant for a long sleeve top. I cut my sleeves off. I probably could have cut them off a little um, shorter, to be honest, uh, but I wanted to have a little bit of puff to them. And um, so I did mine in the, um, did the, ver the longer version. So there's a cropped version and a longer version. I went with the longer version. Um, it was like high hip, thinking that would probably be best. Looking back, I mean, I don't know that I would necessarily have wanted to do the cropped version, because again, I don't want my midriff, ha midriff hanging out, but it might have been a better, since my skirt sits way up at my natural waist, it may have been a better um, visually, proportionally, it may have been better on my body. Um, even with other bottoms as well, not just the skirt that I've been kind of pairing it with. 
Anyway, the top is a delight to make. It's actually really fun. There's elastic that goes in here in the neckline. It's a raglan sleeve. Um, I talked about this. This was a Destachify fabric. I used a cotton eyelet that I got from Destachify, and then I lined the body um, pieces in white cotton lawn so that obviously it wouldn't be see-through, but my sleeves are nice and see-through. It's a really cute top. It's got the cute little ruffle. Um, the little ruffle here at the, the sleeve edge, which I think is just so cute. I used a rolled M to finish off the ends of the sleeves. Um, so it was a really cute and fun, like, little top to make. Um, but I think a couple of things. It's the top. I love the skirt. The skirt I will wear, hands down, a ton of times. Love the skirt. The reason I don't like the top on my body is I think if I had more of a pear shape or an hourglass shape where I had more of a waist, more of a defined waist, this would be a completely different story. But because I am very, I'm a rectangle with a large bust. So, which can kind of um, pull, go off apple a little bit, body shape, just because of that large bust. But I am very much like, there's very little delineation. I have a little delineation between my waist and hips, but it's not much. It's only a few inches. Um, I have a very short torso, which is why I don't have much of a delineation between my waist and hips, because there's not room for my waist to go in. Um, but my hips, I have very narrow hips. It proportionally to the rest of my body. So I feel like with this top, the way, because it's fitted through here, it just emphasizes the fact that I am, um, it emphasizes the fact that I, my waist doesn't go in really any, in there. So it makes me a little trunk-like, I guess. And then there's not enough flare at the bottom, even though there's this cute little ruffle, not enough to for my hips to balance out my bust. So I really need some excess at the hips I need to make my hips look wider so that it balances my bust and then creates the look of a waist. That is <laughs> the illusion that does the best work for me. For instance, this top, this dress, which I absolutely, I spoke about it before. This is the cashmere at Loring. I am shocked, even now, at how much I love this dress on my body. I thought all the ruffles were going to be way too much for me, the sleeves and everything. Absolutely love this dress. So... Try new things, folks. So I'm glad I tried this because had I not tried this, I would have not known how much I love it. But because of the fuller skirt, it balances out my upper body. You know, when I've got, you know, too fitted through here, um, it, I look top heavy. So anyway, all that to say, I think the proportions are just a little bit off on this top for my actual body. Um, and maybe it's because I have a short torso. I'm not really sure. Um, you know, maybe I could have tweaked it by shortening the body a little bit because I didn't do any alterations to this top. And a lot of times I do tweak, not always, but a lot of times I'll tweak cashmere patterns just to bring it up a little bit more, um, the waist up because I have a very high waist as well. Although cashmere patterns drafts for a little bit of higher waist, um, most of the time. So anyway, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm probably not going to keep this top. This top is probably going to go, um, to a friend, um, what, who will, will look better in it um because it really is a pretty top and it's finished off if i do say so myself finished off delightfully on the inside but um anyway it does complete the look for what i was going for here now the skirt <laughs> i'm in love okay guys this is the stay stitch pattern company coco bias skirt i made this skirt at christmas in a green uh viscose um kind of a viscose satin fabric from Mood, um, wore it to Christmas Eve and all that kind of stuff. Love that skirt. And honestly, I could wear that in the summer. Viscose is pretty uh, breathable, so I could, I could still wear it. It's just the shiny, I don't know, I feel like, which is ridiculous because it has a, a sheen to it. Um, it I don't know, it, it feels a little less, I don't know why that feels less summery. It shouldn't feel less summery. It just feels a little bit more um not holiday even, because I wore it in the spring. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I, I haven't pulled it out really at all this summer, um, whereas I wore it a ton in the spring, and I wore it quite a bit in the winter as well. Anyway, I thought it would be so much fun to have one in a print. And I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with this fabric. So this is the Minerva, um, one of their exclusive prints. So this is a Minerva print in their linen rayon base. 
And um, this, I'm one of their ambassador groups. So I, every now and again, not very often, I don't do it very often, but every now and again, I do get sent some free fabric and then I post um, on their website about what I've made. So this is over there on there. But um, I was curious to try this substrate out. And, oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> But when, I mean, I saw the pattern online, obviously, because I was picking it out. But when it arrived, I was like, I absolutely, all these clear colors, um, it is absolutely right up my alley. I can't wait to, like, make, mix things up with this and um, wear all the things um, on the top of this. I love this pattern. It goes together so easily. Um, on my viscose one, I um, French seamed the side seams. There's just two side seams. Uh, on this one, I just surged them. Worked out fine. Um, I mean, I made this skirt in like 30 minutes, probably, from the time it took me to cut out to sew it up. Sewed up so quickly. Um, I did let it hang a little bit before I um, did the hem. And for the hem, because I had my, my serger set up to do a rolled hem for this top, I just went ahead, instead of doing an actual like rolled hem with the horse hair, which I have a tutorial for, I just did the rolled hem on my serger. I don't know, it felt summery to me and uh, a little more casual. So I just did that on the serger and it's worked out beautifully. Um, this pattern calls for putting a slit in one of the sides, but I don't need it. Even doing the longer length because it's biased, so it pretty it like stretches. So like when you put your legs out like this, it just gets shorter just because of the nature of um, a bias fabric cut on the bias uh, so I don't have any issues at all walking in it so I don't feel like I need the slit and I actually prefer not having it in so I did not put it in my uh, first one and I did not put it in this one either and I find them both very very comfortable to wear so yes this skirt is going to be worn a ton it's going to be worn with tanks it's going to be worn with t-shirts it's going to be worn um, probably even as we get into the winter months I mean this is a pretty summery looking fabric but I think I could probably get away with layering it with like a little cardigan or um, a little blazer or something a little bit into the fall before I want to put away, um, you know, I still wear color. I, I want to wear, I need to wear color all year long, bright color, but um, yeah, the print, I guess it feels just a little bit more summery. So I am really trying to get my mileage out of the skirt um, before it has to go away until next summer or next spring. I just love it so much. <laughs> Absolutely love it so much. All in all, I think I came in pretty close to my um, uh, inspiration picture. And um, even though the top doesn't really work for me, and I probably won't wear this, these, I won't wear these as an outfit, um, I do think I will get a lot of wear out of the skirt, absolutely. And that's the whole reason I do these. I see a look that I love, and that's I think that's fun. It's a creative challenge to be able to try and find patterns and fabric to then recreate stuff that I'm seeing and ready to wear. Um, and then make things that actually fit me really well, um, that I don't have to alter, <laughs> that I can just wear as is. And I can be very specific in picking out fabrics that speak to me more than the fabrics that are available and ready to wear. Okay, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope this inspires you to try and recreate some ready to wear that you have seen out and about. And um, until next time, folks, happy sewing. Get some sewing in. You deserve it. Bye-bye. <laughs>